it was going so fast that we couldn't get it. What is popping, y'all? What's popping? Let me get our light set up right. Yeah. Well, um, as promised yesterday, we are back and we're finally going to show you guys what is in our hospital bags. Um, in the comments, I've noticed that we've had a couple new people um, on our channel, so I guess we should start introducing ourselves when we go on live because they probably don't know us. So, welcome back to our channel, Panda Plus One. I am Dope Ass Panda. And I am OK Oso. Yeah, and this is our first baby, guys. I'm currently 39 weeks, so let me give y'all a belly bump update. What's up, Wife Snatcher? Let me give y'all my belly bump update. Okay, first of all, when y'all see me on camera, <laughs> None of my shirts and clothes fit because I refuse to buy maternity clothes. So, like, all my shirts are too short, okay? Mm -hmm. So, if y'all always wondering why the bottom of my stomach is out, that's why. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm currently 39 weeks. I thought I had my next appointment on Tuesday, but it's actually on Friday. And by then, I'll be 40 weeks, so I might do the membrane sweep. If my son doesn't come by then, but... Here is my belly bump update, okay? Mm -hmm. Yesterday we finally cast in my belly and yeah, I'm excited about that because yeah, I don't we know why, I just we am. Finally got it done. We got it done. All right, so I guess you wanna do my back first? Yeah, cause okay. you got a lot of important things in there. Yeah, all the best, all the best stuff. So, um, Okay, so prior to like packing my hospital bag, guys, I had um, went on just YouTube and I was obviously like watching a bunch of moms and like seeing what they packed. And I was telling some of my friends because some of my friends have kids of their own and they've already been through this. So I'm like, you know, like I got to get this, 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 like all this stuff. And they were like, girl, you do not need all of that. And so I started to realize when I was watching those videos, I'm like, are y'all doing all of this stuff for like aesthetics or do we really need all of this stuff? So I have really simplified simplified my mom bag. Um, it's like very minimal because a lot of people were like, they're gonna give you a lot of free stuff at the hospital, like really take advantage of um, all the stuff that they give you. And you really don't need a lot of that stuff that a lot of those moms are telling you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I've simplified my bag. But if you're a mom in the chat, and you know something that we're missing in our bag that we might need, like I still would love to hear suggestions, but I'm trying to like not take a bunch of unnecessary stuff that yeah. I don't need. Um, obviously I wanna take advantage of the free stuff that they offer us, but also like we don't wanna just be lugging around right. unnecessary yeah. stuff. You, yeah. know, you see me, I got my Xbox in here, I got my controllers, I got a whole bunch when of stuff. When that baby comes, you will never play that Xbox again. That's I will why, smash that's it. That's why I'm taking it to the hospital. For what? No, I'm playing. It's not no Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, what's funny is I really don't know what's in his bag because I put a couple of my things that I couldn't fit in mine. In it's very minimal. My, like, the daddy don't really need no bag because I can, like, leave and come back. She You're not leaving, no, Hecka. I'm, I'm not leaving Hecka. Yeah, but uh, I can, like, I have the ability to get up and go. She won't have that ability, so. Yeah, so, yeah. All right, what's in our hospital bag? So, first of all, I love my bag. I actually got this off Amazon. It comes in different colors. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's just like a mommy bag. I'll link it in the description section. It was on my registry, but my mom actually ended up buying it for me. And I love it. And when Dre first seen it, he was like, okay, your mama bag looks like a designer bag. And so, yeah, I like it. The only thing is I feel like I kind of ran out of space really quickly, but also like, I'm just not a packer. Like maybe if I rolled stuff up, then, um, yeah, it would be a little bit different. Okay. So, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. All right. First, I got shower shoes. I actually bought these off Amazon. Mm. Everything that I purchased, I'll link in the description section. Let me try these things. Yeah, on. try them easy runners. Yeah, they are giving like fake. Oh, they comfortable. Mm. Don't. I already see a look on your face. You're not wearing these. Mm, Dre will them. literally <laughs> snap. He will literally Squeeze his foot in any shoe that I have that he feels like he could wear. Don't touch. Okay. I'm just saying, okay. I'm just saying what you got up in that bag. No, because don't. I already seen the way he was eyeing these. Yeah. <laughs> You're not wearing I'm these. I'm looking for stuff I can slide on and go. Like. So, yeah, these came recommended. Um, not the hospital ones. <laughs> these came recommended on Amazon, and they're actually really comfortable. That was actually my first time putting them on. So, I got shower shoes. I was just going to bring, like, some Crocs from home, but I'm like... Mm -hmm. I want to like be like 
you know, a designer mom. Dang, these things lightweight. Yeah, they're heck of light. Okay, okay. shower, shower. Next, I got slippers. Okay, slippers because I don't have any slippers um, at home. And let me try these on. Oh, yo. Those look nice. You sure? They heck of fluffy. I'm not putting those on, so okay, you don't gotta worry you're about You're getting that. too excited. Yeah, these going yeah. crazy. My feet are probably heck ashy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I got slippers, and um, these are actually gonna match one of the robes that I purchased. So I got them in black. And oh dang, you might have to run downstairs for me. Why? What you mean? Um, there was like a black. There's like a black robe, unless you brought it upstairs. It's in the plastic bag? Yeah. I don't care about I'll go check. I didn't put it in there yet. Um, he's going to run downstairs because one of my subscribers actually bought me um, a robe that like is going to match my slippers. And so, yeah. All right. Next, I have these bras. These are like, let me show you guys. One of my friends told me to get these to wear. Um, it's like a nursing bra. So instead of like, um, you found it? Oh, that was heck of quick. Instead of like, you know, having to like take your arm out, you can kind of just like snap it off and like your boob can come right out. Mm. And so I had seen them at Target, but I didn't get them at the time. And when I had went back to Target, y'all, I, I was too tired to walk through the whole store. So it's like a nursing bra where you can literally just like pop your boob out. Pop the booby out? Yeah. Ooh, we might not have to say that boy after the baby. No. I'm not popping nothing out for you for what? six weeks. That's cool. And even after maybe. Week seven is only in pocket. No. Yeah. <laughs> even after, I may still feel, y'all, I'm about, I'm about to milk this because Dre still be trying to do it like he in his 20s. Like, <laughs> so Jayla yeah, says anyway. She, Jayla says she brought an extension cord. That's a good idea. Oh, okay, extension cord. We might have to write that down. Write that down in your notes or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, I bought two of these just in case because like, I don't know, maybe I might leak on one or something like that. So I brought that. I brought a gray and I bought a tan one. So I have two of those. Um, and then, so this is a robe. I cannot remember which one of my subscribers um, bought this for me. I'm so sorry, but I can look it up because I do want to shout you out. I haven't put this in my bag yet because I haven't washed it and I'm just gonna I'm just washing everything that like my baby's gonna be touching just because people told me you're supposed to do that um so this is the robe that I'm wearing and Dre can you pull out your dad shirt it's in the bag yeah so so I have a, a black robe and Dre has a um dad shirt yeah he has a dad shirt to match and then we have like a black onesie for our son like a black little outfit, so we're gonna match. I just wanna show you guys all together. So that's why I got the black slippers and the black shower shoes. Yeah. So when we go into there, we can take like our cute little pictures holding our son mm -hmm. and look like a cute little Instagram couple. That's so that used to be iron though. But yeah. yeah Isn't that so cute? Mm -hmm. So yeah. All right, so we got that. Oh, actually, I think I bought this robe for myself. I ain't gonna lie. I really did. I bought that one for myself. All right. Next, I have my loofah mm -hmm. and I have my body wash, and they both smell good. I just um, got these from Ross, and honestly, Wax Natural was with me. He was like, "Yeah, get the matching colors. Like the colors have to match." Which Wax Natural? Shout out to you, cause it's all about the aesthetics, baby. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is um, eucalyptus mint. It smells like a good. Oops, I dropped my loofah. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Don't use my body wash because you do I that. Smell good. Yeah, and you use my body wash. You use all my body wash from Target. When? And that was expensive. Prove it. It's not in the shower anymore. Hmm. And I know you used it. Let me see some. Ooh, you got a crisp. I'm gonna start getting all fruity smelling stuff so that you can't use it because men oh, don't like that. It's got them scrubbing beads on it. It does. I'm gonna have to use this. No. Exfoliation. <laughs> no, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> Exfoliate my body. Oh, it says right there. Right there. Exfoliation. It's backwards. Okay. Next, I brought a blanket. Mm -hmm. Some of the stuff came from subscribers. Some of it came from family. But I bought, brought a blanket. This is not really like a swallowing blanket. It's just a nice blanket for him to have. Nice. Yeah. Warm. We got. I feel like we got another blanket that's made out of some type of extreme 
extremely soft fabric that we should bring. I have that one too. I washed it, but I didn't want to. I didn't um want to bring that one. Okay. Okay. Then I brought non-slip socks. I've seen a lot of um in almost every like video, the moms had the non-slip socks mm -hmm. with the grip on the bottom. So I brought those in gray, and I also brought them in black, I believe. Okay, see. you got the yep. matching socks for the hospital. I got them in gray and black. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if I don't need these, and like I just want to walk around in my socks. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I can walk around in my socks. Those are really shower shoes. Oh, these are shower shoes. Yeah, shoes. and then the slippers are just, you know, when I want to be cute, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like for that. a pic or something. When you want to be so cute. So I got those. I have to push them up. Oh, Toya said they give you socks. Mm. But Toya, Ooh, these socks are soft. Maybe I'll only bring one pair then. No, give me these. Why? Because I don't got no non slips. Cool. Got me some black ones. No. Yeah. No, because this yeah. matches my stuff. You don't need that. You don't need this. What, what like? color socks do they give you, though? I, I did get shower shoes. I did get shower shoes, Toya. Okay. He's, Next, he's I have. Shoes. Okay, this is so cute. I might be doing too much, but. What? I saw what you did. What did I do? What you doing? <laughs> Actually, you can put those in there. Okay, so um, I have another robe. Mm -hmm. Y'all, we're going to be doing a couple photo shoots in there, okay? So not too much. Her idea. Um, she want to yes. pop out the baby and do a full-on photo shoot. Yes, and this smells so good. I washed it in dress. Okay, so I have another blue robe, but wait, check this out. Hold this. Whatever, wife snatcher. I want some I want I some non-slip socks. I got the blue robe. This is, Dre's not in this photo shoot. This is just a mommy and son thing. Okay. And I got the swaddle blanket to match. Okay, this came off my Amazon registry. This like a swaddle, swaddle blanket to match. This is a swaddle cloth. The baby hat, because I'm gonna swaddle him and put his hat on. This is like what's wrong with the head? Hold on. I ain't feeling this swaddle blanket. Why? Just like a swaddle napkin. Wait, why is his hat like that? It's so thin. Okay, there we go. His hat. Mm hmm. I got some in my eye. And then this is to wrap around my robe. This is going to be our mommy and me photo shoot. That's going to be so cute. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do my makeup. I don't know if this is realistic, but like, I'm going to do my makeup in there and just like be cute and be But like, do you really think you're going to be doing your makeup after you push out the baby? The like be day. be realistic, but the next day because I don't see plenty of women give birth online and they not let me get my beat right right after the baby come out. Right, I'm an influencer. They be looking and please whooped. be careful how you're balling my robe. They be looking whooped and dooped, and you're no, gonna be I'm looking gonna be you're gonna be looking super whooped and super dooped. No, I'm gonna be cute. <laughs> I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna change my life. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no one. No, once my son, <laughs> comes, I'm gonna change my life. <laughs> once my son comes, my life is gonna change. Okay. Is that? Realistic for me to do my makeup the next day? Not realistic. I feel like you're hating. The next day, maybe, but you think you're you? gonna be you pushing a whole human out of your hoo ha, and then you talk right. about some. Let me make sure my beat is right. I'm gonna get the photo shoot. Like what? How about you make sure your woo wa is right before you start taking pictures? Come on, bruh. What? Look. You what don't want say? me to be a milf. That's look, they said, nervous. Look, they Dre said, is nervous. Look, they said, look. Then she gonna look how she gonna look exactly. Woo wow! You don't want me to. You don't want. Me I to want you to. Look. I want you to look good, but no, I want you, you to have your priorities. You nervous? You nervous? You're pushing out my. You child. nervous? He's pushing out my. They child. don't want me after they see look, me. Look, Dre is right. Look, the chat saying I'm right. Come on, guys. Do y'all not know who I am? Y'all think yeah. I can't push this baby out and do a full beat? She about to be like, ah, oh, he's coming. Ah, he's coming. No, I said the next day. Oh, okay. The next, the next day. day, you might be drained, bro. It's going to take a lot of energy Dre, to push that human out. I'm a mother. When, as soon as that baby comes out, I have a superpower that you will never understand. You're not you don't even understand. It's your first I, child. I, <laughs> talk about some, like you just know. You experience. What you talking about? No, I know. <laughs> I know because this is how it works for moms. Okay, you know. You, Moms, don't y'all understand? We she have like a she gonna be in there like this with my hand. <sighs> <sighs> no, get him out of me! No, <laughs> no, no don't touch my bag now because you're doubting me as a mother. Okay, this is a. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like a a, a nursing little blanket, right? And don't mm -hmm. you do this like this with this or something like that? I think you do all the blankets like that. <laughs> I'm just bringing another little thin blanket just in case, you know, because I don't want them in, in there having my baby just, you know, cold and doing anything. Mm -hmm. So that's just another blanket that I wash. Maybe I don't need so many blankets and robes, huh? I feel like you should take some good blankets. 
and a couple robes. Now that I'm unpacking this. Okay. Coming home outfits. Oh my god. I'm missing some stuff in my bag. Okay. Coming home outfits. Mm -hmm. I'm missing some stuff in my bag. What you missing? But this is our first. We have two options, okay? Because depending on like just, I gotta see how how swaggy my baby comes out. I gotta see what I want him to wear, how the outfit looks on him. So I'm bringing mm -hmm. two options just in case, okay? Mm -hmm. First option. These are both um, newborns, okay? Hold that up. Ooh, blessing. Okay, that's the onesie with the hood on it because obviously it's winter, like it's gonna be cold. I don't want my baby's head just out like that. Okay, this is the sweater to go with it. You don't mm -hmm. think it'll be too hot? No, and you're a parent now, so you need to learn how to multitask. You should be able to hold all of these items. Bam! Make sure the hood is showing, please. You're a father, you should know how to do that. <laughs> I should know how to show Bam. it. Bam! No, now you're covering up the outfit. You need to learn how to extend your pinkies and hold them. I don't got hair. long pinkies. No, <laughs> no <laughs> I'm being dramatic. Okay, hold it up. Right. Flip that so they can see. That don't look can right. you? Please don't put it on your dirty beard after I washed it. My beard is clean. No. Yes. I see multiple rinse specs. I clean my beard. Like that? Isn't that? Wait, is this the front or the back? You don't oh, that's know. the back. Can you hold it up? Oh my god, that's so cute, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Okay, so that's down. the first outfit. He bust down with the pelly And then we're gonna sweater. do that one. We're gonna do that one with the white socks, the white bust down socks. No, we need black bust down socks for this. No, yes, it's white. White. You're not fashionable, so that's why. I'm not that. Word. That's a whole different topic. <laughs> so, so that's why we're gonna save that one for another day. Let me lead this, okay? Because we know who the fashion okay fashionista is. All right, that's outfit number one. Outfit number two, uh -huh. if this one, I mean, this one is cute and everything, but like, you know, he might not, he, this, yeah. this one might not be his style, okay? Mm -hmm. So the second one, I have to get his uh, onesie because I washed it and it's in the I like the second one. Huh? I like the second one. No, you don't. Yes, I do. How anyway. you going to tell me? Did you see the second like? one? I'm looking at it right now. What's this in here? It's the second one, right? This in here? Huh? She's going to try to tell me what I like, like, like she know what I like. Wait, the second it's one. Okay, I'm mind. just grabbing a. I'm just grabbing a. Um, cool, cool. What's I'm up? just grabbing the onesie because the second one, the onesie, I have to rewash it because it accidentally. I accidentally washed it with regular um, laundry detergent, and I don't. I'm. I'm nervous about that because people tell me like their skin is sensitive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the second outfit, we got a white onesie, mm -hmm. long sleeve again because it's winter. I don't want my son to be cold. Long sleeve. This is just. This is just a basic bust down. Okay. Oh, basic bussy. He's got the. He's got the a blue. Can you hold it up? Oh, I see what you're saying because you can't reach. Yeah. Okay, put that behind it. He's got the blue bust down. I think I'm the Edward Scissor hand. Oh my God, he's got the blue hand mittens. Yeah, we need those. Oh. I like these. Wait, I shouldn't put it on my middle finger. Oh. Blue, blue face say? He got it with the blue. Scoop. Yep. And then we got the blue tennis shoe socks. Okay. Oh my God. Maybe coming out say respect. And then, cooking. oh wait. I don't know about his blue. Okay, I should have checked in this bag before we started this video because he has a blue. Um, these blue tennis shoe socks came with a blue hat that mm -hmm. matches. And he's got heck of hats though. Yeah, but I wanted the the one that came with the shoes. Where did it go? I don't know. I think Dr Dre's been tampering with my bag. I haven't gone in that closet since I uh, put everything in. There. Oh, here it goes. So apologize, wife. No. And he's got the blue hat. I like this outfit more. Yeah, this outfit is more like simple. It's you more know? minimal. Hold it up. It's more simple and minimal and everything. But y'all, y'all want to know something heck of funny? Is that I didn't even know. Like, I thought a onesie was like an outfit. But you're supposed to put something over the onesie. Did you know that? Yeah. It's like, it's like an undershirt. It's like a onesie for women, too. Like, you know that shirt that you put on that clips under your woo that's a onesie. Yeah, but then you put stuff over it. Exactly. I didn't know that. So you've been walking out of the house with onesies? And no, like, okay. So, for example, like, I was telling my mom. I, at first, I had an outfit, right? Mm -hmm. And it was, like, the onesie. And she was like, are you going to put pants on him or something? No, nah, yeah, you need pants. Yeah, I was like, I thought the onesie was the outfit. You want to know. You want his bare legs out? You talk about something. I'm a mom. She's like, a onesie is like an undershirt. And you put, like, you can put, you put a shirt, shirt on, on top, top of it. it and pants. Yeah. How did I know that? 
She talk know. about some. She talk about some. I'm the mom, and I got things that you'll never know, but you no, don't even know the I have, a, I have no. I'm not saying stuff like that. I'm saying when you become a mom, Dre, mm-hmm. you have a certain set of instincts and skills that naturally kick in that men don't have. So the instinct to put pants on and not have no. Your that's baby something listeners. different. That's something some, different. <laughs> Okay. okay. I've only raised babies on The Sims. Okay, The Sims, the video game. I never did it in real life. Mm-hmm. So some things I do need to learn. But I'm saying I have a special <laughs> set of. So your tech, your your skills that you're referencing that come from The Sims. No. Oh my. And I like my nephew too, but I'm just saying. Oh like, my. You know? Okay. So that actually concludes my mommy bag. Now, originally. I had got a mommy postpartum kit from uh, Frida. My mm-hmm. cousin Pilar had got me a Frida mommy postpartum kit that had like uh, nipple covers. It had like soothing pads um, for obviously down there. It had like some type of spray, I guess, that you spray. But a lot of people told me not to bring any of that stuff because um, they'll give you all that at the hospital. So mm-hmm. I took all of that out. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's my hospital bag. Pretty simplified. Mm-hmm. Now I did put a couple of my things in Dre's hospital bag. Mm-hmm. So before you show your stuff, yeah, show them what you put. Um, I also put a towel in here. Um, Dre's mom got us towels with um our names on it. So I I rolled up Andre's, and I'm gonna get my own towel because Dre be wiping in between his butt with his towel, and I don't like that. But what? Why you, you even have? Shower, why you even have my towel? Because I washed it for you and put it but in it's, there. It's, okay, so this is mine. You're not I will gonna, literally you're go dip this towel in the toilet and you're then not, rewash it and do you're it. You're not going to be using it, right? No. Okay, I'm saying I sure. put it yours and I'm going to put just mine. It's sure. my name. Okay, just making sure. And I don't be wiping my butt with no towel. Yes, you do. Right? I see when you got the shower. I you like this. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. You be wiping it. <laughs> what you <laughs> for? Oh, yeah. You never see me go like this. <laughs> No. Uh, okay, I'm only gonna show y'all my stuff, and then Dre can show you what he put in here. But it's looking pretty empty. Um, in Dre's bag, I put. Where's my? Did you move stuff around? No. I literally put stuff in the other pockets. Bro, you unpacking my bag before no, I can even unpack it. You bro. didn't even put this in there. I. Didn't. It don't matter. Let me unpack. Okay. So I put um, pacifiers in his. I've seen on TikTok that um, you put the weak pacifiers in there. He's got way better pacifiers than that. What is that's this? That's not nice to say when somebody bought this for us. I'm sorry for whoever bought this for us. I appreciate this gift. Like we're definitely going to use these, but if she yeah, wanna, she want to go there and do photo shoots and stuff. Somebody like bought those. us. Somebody bought us some real like. Uh, minimal like things that go. Better no, he with. wants these futuristic looking pacifiers. Well, I know, know what they you want. You know what they have? I actually have a pacifier box. It's in that blue container. It's a blue container. This Remember? one? No. Oh, no. oh, the container money got it. Yeah. This is where I put all the baby. Let me see. Let me do this segment. Excuse me. Okay. Step well, to the side. Okay. Well, while he's finding the pacifier, is that why we finding nothing? Look, Just this needs to go too. Look, look at this. This is a pacifier holder. This is dope. You can clip that on your backpack. You clip this on the backpack, pacifier holder. Well, you I like this. Well, that's for your that's bag. Going, that's that's going for your for bag. My bag. Dre, we so Toya bought us our diaper bag. Toya and her mom, and so Dre's bag is the diaper bag. Okay. The pacifier is that. These are nice. Me, okay, let me finish my segment. I go ahead. You pick whatever pacifier you want. I do that. I got a welcome into this world board. So it's a baby welcome sign. So we'll put hello. My name is. Kyrie, I was born, blah, blah, blah. I thought this was so cute. And it comes with a pin. So, yeah. That really concludes all of the stuff that I bought, guys. Let me see what ones. No, I'm not I sure. knew you was going to pick those. Look at these. It's I okay. like these. I like these. Look at these pacifiers. It's like, you know, really flat colors, minimal colors. I like the light, the light gray and the gray. I like those. So... I was watching a TikTok video, and mom's in the chat. You can tell me if this is necessary. Boiling. Yeah, I was about to say, people were like, you have to sterilize all of them. So they were like boiling the bottles and boiling the pacifiers. Yeah, for sure. Do we have to do that? Yeah. You didn't know that? 
you didn't know that. I didn't know that. I raised I raised some children before. Dre, you are so annoying because you don't even know what stuff is. What are you talking about? You, everybody should know to boil the stuff before you give it to your child. That's how no, you disinfect it. It's yes. not. No, everybody doesn't know that. You are everybody. When do you wash <laughs> Okay, so when you get strawberries, what do you wash them in? Uh, water, salt water. You didn't know that, did you? You just yes, I you did. probably just found that out. No. Look, she don't know. That. She don't know. You. She t- she talked about something she tested me. She ain't even know. Make sure you boil. They just want these because they look futuristic. Futuristic. These, these don't like, look futuristic. They they're just my those style. Those literally look no different than the pacifiers. These I are my me. style pacifiers, bro. They're hecka minimal. They got the little rib the ribbon thing right here. They just look cool. Well, when you when you have him, you can put whatever pacifiers you want in his mouth, and I will put what I want in my child's mouth. All right. Well. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this to the Side, you can put in, and I'm gonna piece. put that to the side and I'm gonna boil these later. Okay, all right, that's what's in my mom bag now. Um, it was hard to get my daughter off the pacifier when I've heard about that. So, like, yeah. okay, there's two things I heard about people say, like, some people are against pacifiers and some people are against like walkers. Y'all, I feel like it's so hard because you hear so many different opinions about like different things. I read this, I I seen this one TikTok or maybe it was a video and they were like, yeah, my, I let my son be on the pacifier until he was like two. Like, I'm not going to take away my, my son's comfort. You know, like, I don't know. It's just really hard. So we're just going to try to do our best. How was, how was little Mario? Cause I don't really remember him. I remember he was on the pacifier, pacifier, but but not Hecka. Not for Hecka long. Yeah. Not for Hecka long. So I'm, I'm assuming that's what y'all was talking about. Somebody said, what'd they say? Absolutely boils all the things that goes into the mouth. That makes sense. What about like this container? Do we, because the pacifiers are going to go in here. So should we boil this too? Just to, you know, be safe? I don't think we have to boil that. I just want to be safe. Like, I mean, well, we, have, look, we have those pacifier wipes. Maybe we should put those. We have those pacifier wipes. I know um, Toya and Amani got us some. So maybe we can like wipe it down. Let me see. Somebody said pacifiers just mess up their teeth at some point. Ah, uh, that makes sense because they sucking on it. Pause, and that can like what the heck uh, is rearra- the rearrange their like how their teeth grow in. That makes sense. So what should we do? Should we? I mean, I, I'm not I feel opposed. Like we should bring it just in case. Yeah, I'm not opposed to using pacifiers, but I don't want them to be dependent on. I don't want him to be dependent on the pacifier. And they said we should boil this too, because okay. this is where the pacifiers go. Thank you guys. You guys are like legit, bro. I They're aunties and uncles. Like mm-hmm. what? Mm-hmm. That's my appreciation. What happened to my phone? Uh, oh, also, I want to say something. <laughs> I don't know if Juju, oh, right Nisi, and Wifey Ashley are in here, but I did not know that you handmade this. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, obviously, I knew that they handmade that, but I did not know that they handmade this blanket. Like, I was like, what? That's not impressive. Mm-hmm. Is Monique Washington your cousin? Yeah, Monique is my cousin. I didn't know her last name. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so thank you, Wifey Ashley and Juju Nisi. It makes it more special when it's handmade because I feel like you put a lot of love into it. But I don't know if you guys are in here, but I was reading over the live chat from our last video or the video where we opened these and I was like, wait. Yeah. It's hand stitched. Yeah, it's hand stitched. This is really nice. That's I crazy. like this. I like the... Uh, Inside material, I like that soft feeling. I want my baby to be like, dang, daddy, you hooked me up. Mm -hmm. You got me this soft little blanket. Okay, you can do your bag. All right, here, take this. All right, so my bag is real simple. She already showed you the dash shirt. I'm going to be quick with it. I don't got to go into details. This is the dash shirt. I'm going to show it to you again for those who are in here that that weren't in here before. Boom, it says, Dad, established 2023. Mm. That's this year, in case you didn't know. My baby daddy. Yeah, that's me. My baby daddy. I'm a real dad. I always wanted to be a dad. I didn't grow up with my dad, so this is like a, a milestone for me. So we're going to roll this back up nicely. Boom. Bang, bang. Put this in the bag. All right. What else is in here? I'm going to repack my bag, y'all. She already, we already showed you this. I'm going to probably add some more stuff to my bag. But I got some. Oh, only thing stuff. I didn't put in my bag too. There's two things I didn't put in there. I didn't put my underwear yet because, mm-hmm. like, yeah, I'm still wearing my underwear. I didn't put my underwear yet. These are just things I'm gonna grab, like when it's time. Mm-hmm. My underwear and dang, there was one more thing. I got underwear in here already. 
Look, I got, I we got I the, uh, the, the pacifier wipes. I never seen these before, but this looks dope. Pacifier I didn't even wipes. know that was a thing. I didn't either. Uh, put this back in the bag. I got chargers. I got the iPhone charger. And then I got my camera charger. For when uh, Panna pops out the baby. And she's like, I'm ready for my photo shoot. I got my full beat. I got the camera charger ready. I now I really have to do it because you really don't believe in me. I, it's not that I don't believe in you. I'm just saying, like, let's, let's kind of be a little realistic. Because I've never seen, like, that just seems like a little, like, fake to me. Like, you feel me? Like, you just popped out the baby and the first thing you doing is beating up, putting on makeup. I didn't say the first thing. Even I said the, the next day. Even the day. next day, like, you could do the... You could do like a light beat. You don't need no contours or something. I'm not no makeup, not makeup artist anyway. My thing, my beat is always a light beat. They say we gotta pack snacks. Yeah, I, I agree. Oh, that's the last thing, snacks. But I um, so I had ordered some uh, what's it called? Some lactation cookies, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna put some snacks in. I'm gonna I'm gonna build a bag, but like I just didn't want to put heck of stuff in here. I don't know what I want yet. You know me, I'm a snack monster. I love me some. No, but chips. you can leave. I can't leave. Yeah, I like chips. So you're not gonna be eating on my snacks. And I like candy. I don't really like too much candy unless it's sour. So I heard I'm, that for me, I have to eat like a little healthier though because I have to think about my milk and what's going into my child. I can't just be eating cheese okay. and chips. Well, you had your segment. It's my turn now. So should I bet? Yes. Thank you. All right. So back to what I was saying. I like candy, and but really it's just a sour candy. All right. We're going to keep going. Okay, yeah, he has a favorite pacifier case. And why you know this, man? I'm a, I'm ready to be a dad, bro. Like, this is like a, a milestone for me, bro. I'm not playing. We're going to get back to this bag, though. You see, you see, when you in the bay, we don't play. You see what I got on. Mm, got the jammies ready for him. You want your son to see you in those faded pajamas? These aren't faded. What are you talking about? They look faded and rusty. And you you look ashy alive. and rusty. Do you no. like? Do you like when I say that? That doesn't you look ashy. Y'all, listen. That doesn't match anything that we have. I'm not taking pictures, bro. I'm not worried about taking the pictures as soon as my son. Comes. Don't try to make me feel bad about saying one of the pictures. <laughs> I'm, not trying, to, to I'm not trying. To, I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I'm just telling you where my you priorities want, you are. You want me to get you a silk pajama set? Uh, if you want me to be sweating, yeah, for sure. <laughs> sweat? Then, yes, because silk make you sweat. And why didn't you pack the new underwear that I just got you? Ain't nothing wrong with these underwear. I better not see not one hole. Ain't no holes in my underwear, bro. So, apologize. No, because you always have holes. <laughs> this is what you want. To I literally bought you brand new underwear for Christmas. My bad, bro. I didn't even peep that it had a little hole in there, bro. Bro, you tripping off this right. little hole, bro. That's yes. nothing, That's bro. That's ghetto. That's not ghetto. Yes, you act like you my, always have holes. You act like I'm about to have my underwear out, bro. That little ass hole, man. Stop playing with me, man. Why do men like holy underwear? I don't it's not that we like I it. I bought you brand new underwear. Bro, listen to this, bro. I want all y'all women in here that's listening, listening to this. If the underwear got holes in it, it don't mean nothing, bro. It just means it's not a priority for us men because we got on pants over top of it. Like, Man. my underwear got a hole in it. I'm what not is, embarrassed, No, bro. this is what my mom always told me. This might be a mom thing. This is why I have this instinct. Hey, someone said, don't forget the scarf and hair ties. True. Oh, scarf and hair ties. That's a good one. Um, okay, this is one thing my mom always taught me. Let's just say there's a medical emergency and your clothes have to get cut off. Mm-hmm. It'll you be, want them to cut your clothes off and be like, damn, he got holes in his underwear? It's a medical emergency. If that's the first thing that they say when they cut my clothes off, I don't want them working on me. But you don't want to look I don't want them working on me. Point blank. Because if, okay. if, if, if it's a, if it's a medical emergency and they talk about some, oh, he's got holes in his underwear, like... Where's the professionalism? No, what? it's just a simple fact. They're like, you need to look presentable. This is the first time your son. If goes, anything, this is the first time your son gonna see you, and you want him to see a hole in your underwear. He ain't even gonna be seeing that good, bro. He fresh out of your hoo ha. He ain't gonna be like, yo, daddy's got them holes. Like what? If anything, they'll be like, good thing he's got the holes in the underwear. It'll be Jay, easy to cut them off. But I bought you brand new underwear for Christmas. Okay. Why didn't you pack the brand new underwear? I'm sorry, baby. I packed the brand new underwear just for you. Thank you. 
But if that's I, all I'm asking, babe. That's if all I, if I, if I was in a life or death situation and they saw that I had holes in my underwear, they'll, be, just, they'll probably be like, "Thank goodness, now we can easily access it a little better. We can cut it over." Because <laughs> they cut through the hole. Yeah, and I got my headphones. My 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 main doctor's a, a PD. Uh, what you call it? A P a P PD, pediatrician. Your main doctor is a pediatrician. Yeah, that was his thing oh. before he was like before he was my like my main healthcare provider. I got my headphones. Where you get those? I've been had these. Hmm. I had these. These are the beast ones that I lost for a while. I guess for a little bit. That's all you packed. Yep. I don't really need too much. What about body wash? I have body wash. I'm not about to pack it because I wash my body on the regular. No, because you're using my shit. That's no, why. I, I, yes. Yes. I know you. All right. Let's leave this out. This is for... Uh, what about socks? I have socks. I'm wearing them. So, basically, you didn't pack nothing. I but did. A, but a shirt and pajama pants. Yes. And underwear. In case With I holes. have to spend In case I have to spend the night. But look. I got socks on. I'm always ready. You feel me? <laughs> I got the socks on my body. What I got to pack them for? <laughs> <sighs> okay. If you stay ready, you don't got to get ready. That's on mama's. Oh, my sister said, do we have deodorant? You know we share deodorant. That yeah. was a controversy. Yeah. We don't share deodorant. We do. Own. I have my own and you have your own. You use Old Spice. I use Dove. Yeah, but we always use each other's deodorant. Yeah, and I don't like that, bro. Because you, I roll up the stick... A certain amount, and then she'll come in and roll it, crank that thing all the way up, and then the deodorant break in a week, cause it's cranked all the way up to the top. Yeah, I don't. He leaves his deodorant at the rim, so when you put it on, you can feel it scraping your armpit. I don't. Yeah, like that. cause it takes off the access. You go in there. That's disgusting. No, it doesn't. You don't need hella deodorant on your Yeah, but you said it takes off the excess, so that means you have deodorant crud around it. That's not crud. It's fresh deodorant. That's disgusting. That's not disgusting. What's disgusting is rolling deodorant all the way up and then doing 20 swipes. Yeah, because I don't want to be musty. 20 swipes. If you don't want to be musty, hop in the shower. Yeah, but sometimes I have to put layers. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I do put on hella deodorant. I ain't gonna lie. I be like this. She be in there like, so what you getting into today? <laughs> what you want to eat? Hmm? I was thinking about Mediterranean. <laughs> Can you pass me my phone? You don't love me. So yeah, <laughs> you're going crazy. Uh, what else? Any, I gotta put this towel back. Anything in the bag. else? Do you anything else that you want to say? No, nah, that's it. Okay. Did did pan did pan or wax or shave yet? So the doctor won't be saying anything about it. I um <laughs> I cut my shit down with some scissors, but I haven't like shaved shaved. I've been trying to get Dre to do it for me, but he's like, ugh. I'm not nah, I'm I'm I didn't say ugh, but I'm afraid to cut your thing. Why? I don't know. Bro. All you gotta do is take some clippers and like get in there. Some clippers? Take <laughs> <laughs> like your beer shaver. Some clippers? God <laughs> this turned into some damn she said, I got to take the clippers. I thought no, I was going to get one of them. Y'all know what I was going to do over this next, like, couple days is I was going to see if I can find, like, one of those mirrors that you could, like, stick to the wall. And then that way I can see because, like, obviously I can't see. Or for see. you, you could put the mirror on the floor because you're not going to be able to see over your belly. And then you just That's look what I'm saying. Put it on the wall. Yeah, but how are you going to put it on the wall and then see if you got Because it's on the wall. You mm -hmm. look and it's like this. Yeah, but you can't look underneath. Like the better That's angle. That's what the mirror's for. The better angle would be down here. And then you look at the mirror like that and then you go you feel me? How am I gonna see that when I can't even see over my belly? You stick it out some. No, then it's gonna be facing up. Stick you it put on. it low enough to where you can see right here. Okay, you're right. As long as you get it done, because I don't want the doctor complaining, because I'm, I'm not the one. If the doctor is complaining about can, hair, the doctor then I don't want that doctor working on me. The like doctor you said, what about your holes? No, they probably, you. they probably I'm do anything you. that, though. They'd be like, damn, she hairy. Damn, she hairy down here. She couldn't even shave before she came up in here. And I don't want my son born with no pubes on his forehead. Yeah, I don't either. Not yours. No. See? They said Drake can get a razor and just shave her. That's what I'm saying. But she's talking about some clippers, bro. Nair. Do they have Nair for down no, there now? No, I won't put Nair down there. One time when I was in high school, I went to my cousin's house. 
No, it was summer school. I was I had dropped out the eighth grade, uh-huh. and my grandmother. You dropped out the eighth grade. Yeah, this is when my grandmother. Oh hell no! My, my grandmother. About to be a delinquent. My grandmother took custody of me in the eighth grade because I was doing bad stuff, and my mom wasn't all the way there yet. But anyway, I go to uh, my cousin's house, and she had near lotion, and I didn't want I want to go to school with Ashy. So I nair lotion my entire body, bro. Nair lotion? Yes, it said nair and it said lotion. So I'm rubbing it and this shit's not rubbing in. <laughs> it's not rubbing in. And it smells like rotten eggs. So I'm like, what the hell type of lotion is this? I'm looking at it. And I'm like, damn, what the hell? So I go in the ki- I go in the bathroom to get a towel. I try to wipe the excess lotion off and my hair's coming off with the lotion, bro. What? You're dumb. I went to school and they started roasting me. They was like, oh, you shaved, boy? <laughs> <laughs> they started roasting me. My Did lady. you put it on your face? Mm-mm. Because I, I, I had put it on my arms and legs. Why did and you then, put it on your arms? If, why did you keep going if it stunk like rotten eggs? Because I did it fast. I put a whole bunch. Like, I squeezed it and then I was like this. And then by the time I realized <laughs> the mistake I made, it was over. It was over. Or, Sierra, you know how hard it would be for me to wax myself? You are crazy, girl. Mm -mm. You should just go get it waxed. Man. Oh, they said they will shave you at the hospital, Panna. Oh, really? Yeah, please get her right at the hospital. You don't love me. I do love you. I just like you. Yeah, no hair. Kai needs his hair when he comes out. Right. (laughs) No, for real. He might swipe through and get a little couple remnants. And then he's going like... Burning his skin and stuff. Because that stuff burns. It's a chemical. It will be off by then. I'm going to shower. You can't shower when you uh on the pregnancy bed. No, I, no I'm going to shower before I go to the hospital. Oh, you're going to use... I'm going to just go you're there gonna and use, I thought you was going to go there and then like when you're about to prepare for the baby, be like, I got this nair. And then they you put think it I'm going to be there. thinking about nair when I'm having contractions? Oh, this, Connor said it's literally a perm. That explains it. Yeah. That thing was... If I need... Yesterday, I uploaded our X video. Did y'all watch it? Because if y'all did, y'all would know. That's why I said he'd be having holes in his underwear. Somebody said go get waxed. I agree. I think she should get waxed. You know what? I heard that like a lot of um waxing people, well, my friend waxes. So that's who I was going to go to originally. But one of my friends scared me because she's a nurse. And she said that a lot of um wax people don't wax pregnant women because we're prone. we're more prone to infections down there. And so they were like, a lot of wax people, like, she was like, she probably told you she'll do it because she's your friend, but like, a lot of them don't. Well, don't get waxed. I would just have the doctor shave. I'm going to just shave myself. I'm going to get a mirror and I'm going to shave it. Okay. Or you can do it. Mm -hmm. Don't you love me? I do. I'm the mother of your child. You have to do things now. I don't have to do nothing. Yeah, you do. Mm, I don't own you and you don't own me. I don't have to do anything. I I manage you. You don't manage anything. <laughs> I guess I do. I'm ah, gonna, don't I'm gonna, Dre, I'm gonna get Dre new silk pajamas. I want you in there looking like, you know. Like oh, you want me, you want me in there looking like daddy? Yeah, you want to wear those faded warrior's pants? Mm-mm. I'll take the silkies. Yeah, the silky yamas. They don't have to be silk, but you don't want a nice pajama set? Yeah, I'll take the So when they come set. in, they're like, wow, this is such a well put together couple, and you can match me and your son. Mm-hmm. Or my son and you can match me. What? Mm hmm. What difference does it make? Because I'm the oldest. So we want an older, older. So yeah, that's what's in our bag. Okay, so let mm-hmm. me add the stuff that I need to add. So they said hair ties. Mm hmm. Somebody said just buy new panties. So I'm just probably, probably going to do that. Mm hmm. So I'm going to say new panties. Hair ties. Mm-hmm. Oh, I need a bonnet. And then what? We need pajamas for Dre. Pajamas for Dre. Mm-hmm. And then you can have some of my non flip socks. Y'all think I should take out one of those robes or should I bring both of them? I think you should bring both of them so you got okay. options. I'm going to bring both of the robes and then what about the blankets? Do they give you a blanket? I will bring one just in case. Because, you know, you might take the blanket and that blanket might be thin or something. Or it might be too thick and you not like it. Oh, they shave, they shave the area when the baby comes out. Oh, somebody said they don't shave you. They don't. I'm going to shave myself. Mm-hmm. You said that white snatch your brand my hair. <sighs> Fine. Uh, I got to take this weave out, though. Mm-hmm. 
the hood before and my sister was really shaky so they couldn't even shave her at the hospital no for real bring your own blanket okay cool so that's i think we're good mm -hmm. so i just have to wash that one that long one sleeve onesie and i gotta wash the hat and then we gotta sterilize the stuff you sterilize yeah they sterilize the bottles too we gotta sterilize some bottles mm -hmm. okay they say how long do you, well, someone said how long do you plan on being there? I'm thinking like a couple of days. Like yeah, a couple first days. Day and then so, the second day. when um, I got pregnant, I switched my insurance because, y'all, this is crazy. Okay, so I've had Kaiser insurance literally since for, for forever. When I turned 26 and I got off my dad's plan, um, I was like, what the hell? This is hella expensive. So, I went through Cover California to get my medical um, since I'm like self employed. <clears throat> And originally for Kaiser, I was paying like maybe like 80 to 100 a month. It was something hecka cheap, but it was like the bare, bare minimum. Like I still had to pay a copay if I went into the hospital. Like it was just like the lowest of the low. But I, you know, in California, I don't know if this is every state, but in California, you have to have health insurance. Otherwise, they penalize you at the end of the year when you do your taxes. So when I got pregnant, um, obviously like I called them cause I'm like, you know, I want my prenatal appointments and like all that stuff taken care of. So I had to upgrade my insurance because they told me that if I kept my same insurance, I would have to pay for every single, um, prenatal appointment. And on top of that, I would have to pay, um, when my baby comes, I would have to pay anywhere from 30 to $50,000 for just the delivery. And then it's like three to four thousand a night for every single night that you're in the hospital. That is ridiculous. So basically now I pay five hundred and fifty a month and my delivery is free for my baby. All my prenatal appointments are free um, and I only have to pay six hundred dollars a night for every night that I'm in the hospital. So I plan to stay maybe like two to three nights depending on um, how I'm feeling. I heard that um, they'll let you stay. Like, you can leave as soon as you, like, do a bowel movement is what I've heard. So, I'm going to ask my doctor about that, like, how long I actually need to stay. But hopefully, I don't need, like, a C-section or anything. If I deliver vaginally, like, I'm going to try to go home as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Maybe a couple of days at the most, you know, yeah. two, so three days. I was, so. I was looking in the pacifier thing. I think this one will be better. It's the same. It's the same design that I liked, but it's blue, which matches her gown. And it comes with this little fluffy uh, llama. The llama. What month is that for, though? Um, zero months. Okay. So, I know what I'm doing. You didn't even know to look for that. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah, anyway, long story short, I don't want to be in there too long because, like, obviously, I don't want to spend a lot of money. But um, I've had a couple people tell me, like, it's really helpful when you stay there for a couple days just because, like, you know. Mm-hmm. They'll, the nurses will come in and help you. You can get more help with the breastfeeding and all that good stuff. So I'm not going to be in like a rush to leave, but I'm not trying to like, mm -hmm. you know, stay there for forever. So you said they be trying to kick you out. <laughs> My friend said like she damn near left the same day, but she had her baby hella, hella early. Like she had her baby at like, let's say like 1 a.m. And by that evening, they were like, okay. I'm like, that don't sound right. Mm -hmm. Like, Was she going to urgent care? No, she was at um, San Francisco or something. Well, let's not go to yeah. San Francisco. They give you extra pillows and blankets if you ask. Okay. Oh, thank you so much, Tanisha. They kick you out after two days and both are doing well. Okay. What do you mean by gently parent? You Listen. know, gentle parenting is like no whooping. Like, you just like, you really talk to your kid. I am going to gentle parent to an extent. But, like, I still have, like, a little bit of old school in me to where I'm, like, who was you talking to? I mean, it depends, bro. Because some yeah. kids are, like, they have that personality where, like, you know, you can talk to them sternly and they'll feel the same way as if you, like, flick them or something. But some kids are just hella bad. I'm not saying my kid's going to be hella bad, but I'm going to play it case by case. I feel like... So, a lot of my parenting, um, like, experience or, like, what I want to do is kind of based off my nephew. Like, you guys know we had him a lot. Like, we spent a lot of time with him, both young and old. So, I feel like a lot of what I think or how I think things are going to go is kind of, like, based off of what my brother experienced with him or what I experienced with him and I watched him. So, <clears throat> for example, like, my nephew is the type of kid, if you, you talk to him sternly, 
he tears up. And like mm-hmm. some of y'all have seen that on live. Like if I'm like, sit down, I'm not playing with you. Tears. Like he's not the kind of kid that you really have to like hit or like mm-hmm. grab him up. Like when you put a little bass in your voice and like, you know, I'm very playful with him. So when I'm like, no, I'm not playing. Don't do that again. He will literally like shrivel up in a ball. So mm-hmm. I feel like, like you said, it just kind of depends on how our kid is. Like I know at some age he's going to challenge me and I might have to hit him with the, cause <laughs> no, don't take it there. I'd have been in a store and I just seen a lady like her daughter just tripping, like picking, taking stuff off the shelf. Like yanking it off the shelf, throwing it on the floor, throwing tantrums. And she's like, no, no, no. No, no, no. I'm like, girl, if you don't pick me, stop. <laughs> you know, chill out. No, no, no. So I'm some no, no, no. Don't make me count down from 30. Right. 29. <laughs> like, nah. Yeah, she said 30. Yeah, I'm counting down from don't 1. Don't make me get to 20. Don't make me count nah, down but, from 1. I mean, I... I don't want to, um, I'm not going to whip my kid like with the yeah. belt, but you will definitely get a pop or a flick. If I have to tell you multiple times, I feel like, you know, yeah. sometimes I think about it like I grew up on whoopings. I got whoopings for show and I feel like I turned out good, but I do get the like slave mentality. I'm not, and, like, I'm, you know? I'm not, I'll tell you that. Like I, I agree with the gentle parenting as far as like actually like like whooping your child. Like uh-huh. I'm not finna do that. I'm not finna like, cause that's down there like. That's borderline abuse. That's child abuse. I'm not going to be doing that. But, like, I'm for sure not about to just be like, no, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> like, it's going to be a happy... It's, it's going to be... No, no, no. It's going to be a happy middle ground. It's going to be a happy middle ground. Yeah. But I feel like... um, I think it just... This is one thing I'm really going to have to work on, y'all. I think it's just really establishing the boundaries of respect when they're young. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like... Even sometimes now with my nephew, I think I've been, like, such the fun auntie that, like, he'll try it, you know? And I feel like if I would have started a little younger, like, being kind of a little more stern, Mm -hmm. then he's not, he's not bad or anything, but, like, you know what I mean. Like, he'll get a little smart at the mouth, you know? Because I feel like it's always just been, like, Because it's always always been, like, joke time. And that's cool, because, I mean, you're his auntie, you're not his mom, but at some point, a child has to understand, like... The difference between a friend and a parent. Yeah. Like one time he told me shut up one time and I was I was like, What? Yeah. He'll do he'll get a little And then I was like, Don't ever, you know, talk to me like that and he start he started tearing up. Yeah. So he's like the type of kid where you can talk to, you don't have to yell at him, but if you show him you're serious and you're stern, like he'll like cry, he'll tear up. Yeah. Like, and he'll feel that differently than if you like hit him. Mm-hmm. He'll probably cry if you hit him, but there's no point in I'll hitting never Yeah, there's no point in hitting a child yeah, like him. Because no. I feel like that'll cause more trauma <clears throat> than actually fix the yeah. situation. But I'm excited. I feel like, um, yeah, I think, I think I'm just going to have to find that, that balance, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't think it'll be hard to do, but it's just really sticking to my guns. Because I'm feel, feeling bad. I feel like if we're on the same page, mm-hmm. we'll be good. Mm-hmm. If we communicate and, and like... You know, if something that he's doing that you don't like, I just no, gotta no, like, no. I gotta be behind you no, and then likewise. No, no. We're not doing no no yeah. no no. But like you said in one of your rules, like I do want my kid to feel like he can come to me and talk to me about stuff, but like mm-hmm. also, like don't think you just gonna be doing stuff because you we got an open relationship. Yeah, just just cause we got an open relationship don't mean you can just, you know, I'm not I'm one not, of your little friends. I'm not, <laughs> I can't wait like to say that. I'm not one of your little friends off the street. You feel me? You know, it's funny. I told my mom the other day, she was asking me something. And I was like, girl, I'm not one of your little friends. Get on my business. You always, now now you want to be my little friend because right. I'm 30. Now you want to know all the tea. No, I'm not one of your little friends. Remember? Remember? <laughs> remember? She's like, you're grown now. Nah, because remember, I'm not one of your little friends off yeah. the street. Now you calling me for all the tea. Mm-hmm. Like I'm one of your little friends. I can't wait to say all the black mom slogans. <laughs> you got McDonald's money? Okay. <laughs> you got McDonald's. My kid is not eat McDonald's. I'm telling that's another Jay, rule. you can't say your kid is never going to eat McDonald's. No, I'm not allowing that, bro. We either cooking or we can make our own McDonald's. Homemade McNuggets. Call them Dre Nuggets. <laughs> Homemade McNuggets. Pen- Pen- I don't want that. Yes, They're going to be dry. Or I can get a box from McDonald's. 
and get all the stuff and then now, put the food in there. Now, if you're going that far, if you going yeah, that far. Yeah, yeah, because that stuff you is processed. You McDonald's boxes? No, I'm just saying, like, if you would really press for him to eat that trash So, you going to make nuggets from scratch? Yeah. No, you're not. I'm going to learn for my son. I'm going to do whatever. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's how I'm rocking. I'm due um, January 16th, y'all. So, any day now. Any day now. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. That's what's in our hospital bag. Thank you guys for the suggestions. I'm mm. definitely going to add um, a lot of that stuff in. I thought it would be realistic to be like, it's time. And then just start grabbing random stuff. But maybe... I do need to just have everything packed and ready to go. You talking about something real? That's not realistic. Yeah, it is. It's like it's time. Okay, I need my panties and my snacks. That's it. Yeah, I'm not using no belts. I'm not using any weapon. (laughs) I'm not not using anything to hit my child with anything. That's dead. I remember when I used to get whoopings. It got to the point where. I would just stand there and take the whoopings. Me too. And then you gotta do that. You gotta do that. They're not gonna stop. But eventually, like you gotta like. You got to, like, act like you hurt. Because if you don't, like, one time I, mean, I oh, did. Oh, you think you tough? You think you tough? She start going harder. Wah, 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 wah. My uncle had to come in there and be like, you got to stop. Because this is down there borderline abuse. My cousin Monique, she used to cry all the time. She stayed here with me. I was no cry. I was solid back then. I was like. She was the only one still crying. I'm like, girl, you still crying? <laughs> I started crying when I was, like, 11. I started toughening up, like. It's I wasn't even doing that. Psychology. I wasn't even doing that. I was just standing there. And my mom was like, I remember one time, I went to the pool. My cousin Lauren snitched on me and told my mom I was cussing. We was in, <laughs> we was in summer camp, soccer. And he was like, Andre was cussing at the pool. Didn't even have no no reason to say that. He just wanted to let them know. And I got whoopings. <laughs> and I was just standing there. And the car seat like, is installed, yes. Only thing we haven't installed is the camera that Juju Nisi and them got us, which I'm going to do today. And then someone got us like a um, a window shield for like, you know, when the sun is out. So we just have to put that in. Mm-hmm. But I started cleaning out my car today, but Drake took it. So. I feel like that window shield is unnecessary in your car because you got like 5% tint, double 5% tint. I don't know, but I still just want it for aesthetics. Something but wife's not sure in here talking about it. Your wife's not sure in there got them screaming. When I have kids, I'm going to use anything I can get my hands on. <laughs> You're going to be in jail because you know kids nowadays. He, uh, why is Patrick going to have his kid on the shade room exposing right. him? Exposing him at my four dad, years old. It was so funny. It's not funny, but like, so I think I'm pretty sure it was Lauren Hill. Mm-hmm. Her daughter was on the shade room. She did like a story time and she was like basically saying how she was like abused. And she was like, she would get a belt and hit me. And, like, everybody in the comments was, like, so a regular ass whooping. Like, mm-hmm. a regular whooping in the black household. But it's, like, kids nowadays that grew up on gentle parenting. That's, like, when I was in school, in uh, elementary school, we got hit with paddles. Like, they would slap But you, you guys got to know where that came from. Like, that's, like, some old slave stuff. They would have... Well, that's the, why we don't do yeah, it Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They would have the parents whooping their kids on some slave stuff, bro. Like, we ain't on that no more. It's 2023. My husband never got whipped. I tell his parents all the time they should have kicked his tail. No, for real. Dre, you needed a whooping. I did. Dre gonna say, and I whooped the shade room, too. You're yeah. next. <laughs> I did need whoopings. I was hella bad. You're next, shade room. That's if I didn't get no whoopings, I probably would have been doing all types of stuff, bro. <laughs> Our son's whole name is um, Kyrie, Kyrie Mary, Mary Taylor. Um, uh, what is it? Kyrie and Mary Taylor. Okay, but you said I'm married. Kind of weird. You said I'm married. Because I was wondering why you chimed in. Yeah, this is not a duet. Said, you wanted oh, to make sure I said it correct. Right. This is not a duet. This is not a duet. She loves saying my sayings. I just said that to her the other day, and now she wanted to talk about duets. Yeah. Harry and Mary Taylor. Mm-hmm. I feel like whoopings are an easy way out, but that's just my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of get that too. I feel like you can't, if you're not like, uh, if you're not wise enough to like figure out to figure out a resolution in that moment other than like hitting the child, then you shouldn't be having no children. Yeah, I feel like sometimes it comes out of frustration too. Yeah, it's like, you're bro, frustrated you hitting your child, yeah. that's not good. That's not teaching yeah. them good habits. I don't have to use a belt. My voice dies. My head. My voice does. But I give them a quick little, quick little pop, like cheer your ass out, boy. (laughs) Are you gonna get the sticker that says "Baby on Board"? You know what? Okay, so I wanted to get the sticker that says "Baby on Board," but I read that um, 
y'all be on TikTok too much. They said not to get those stickers because sex traffickers like prey on like pregnant women mm -hmm. and like people who like rob and steal. They prey on pregnant women because they know it takes you like longer to get in the car. Mm -hmm. And so they're like, when they see the baby on board stickers, they be kind of like watching you or like mm -hmm. they'll follow you to the grocery store and stuff. So I was like, hmm. That's maybe good. I, I never, I never peeped that. That's good. Yeah. We ain't putting no stickers on your car. Mm -hmm. Y'all, the other only day... Only sticker we put on the car is... Wait, let me tell you what happened. <laughs> gun on board. So, <laughs> after... um, So, literally, I had watched that TikTok, right? I had watched it or whatever. And um, after I had watched that TikTok... Oh, my phone died. Um, after I had watched that TikTok, I literally was leaving the salon. It was late at night. It was probably like 11 or 12 at night. And I have a Jeep, right? There's like this thing with Jeep where like they'll stick a duck on your jeep it's like you got ducked but it's a way for them to tell you like oh i love your jeep like it looks hella nice or i love the color it's like a jeep thing right if you got a jeep you know um so i'm walking out the salon and you know i have watched a couple tiktoks about just being trafficked or like you know men preying on women and one of this was like they put like something in your door handle so when you take it out there's like something some type of chemical on there that'll make you pass out so i'm walking up to my jeep and the person like stuck the jeep in my like driver's door handle so I'll, mm -hmm. i'm like walking up what did i say the jeep they stuck the duck yeah in my driver mm -hmm. handle so i'm walking up and i literally was like a little bit away like maybe where dre was and i was right here and i was like <gasps> and i started like looking around i'm like oh my god she so like i started backing up i'm like oh my knows. god i'm pregnant at this time so i'm like oh my god like somebody is trying to sex traffic me and there was like a car like a couple a little ways down it's not funny, Dre, because I really almost had a panic attack. And there was a car like a little ways down, and there was a person sitting in it. So that really set me off. I'm like, oh my God, like, I don't know if I should touch this. So I forget who I was with. I called my client. I'm like, oh my God, like, I'm, I'm hella nervous that I'm gonna be in a sex traffic. And they were like, what? Like, go back in the salon. Like, what the heck? You know, because I had already, like, I stayed behind a little bit to like clean up, and I was leaving. And then I was like, maybe I should just walk up and like see what it is, but not touch it. So I turned my camera on. I started recording because so I'm like, oh my God. And then I looked and it was like a duck. And so I was like, <sighs> like I poked it out like that. I was like, <laughs> and then I looked at it and then I Googled, I was like sex trafficking with a duck on and stuff. And then that's when I found out like what it was. And then when I read it, it was like, you've been ducked. I love your Jeep. Make sure you take a picture on Facebook. And I was like, oh my God, I did yeah, all of that bro, for this. The community, the Jeep community is funny, bro. I be in her Jeep driving every time, like no cap. Every time I drive past another Jeep and you look in their car, they like this. Hella waving. No, hella waving. Like this. Like it's like they like, have a they're like, we're family. You got you got a Jeep, I got a Jeep, we Jeep it. No, but I really <laughs> we Jeep Honestly, Dre, I thought I was gonna get got. I ain't gonna lie. Like when I poked it out, I poked it out, I was like, huh! Yeah. And I was hecka looking around. And I know that person was probably like, What the f is she doing? Like, what's she like, doing? She and then never I looked at it, before. I was like looking. And then I was like, why is it a duck? And then I Googled and I was like, duck on my car. I think I put like duck on my car. And then that's when I seen the Jeep stuff. And I was like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, and, they're like, and then they said, you do it to somebody else. But like, mm -hmm. I still have the duck in my car. <laughs> Don't I, Dre? Yeah. And I want to do it to somebody else. But that's just suspicious. Mm -hmm. That's suspicious. I can't be walking up, putting a duck on somebody's car. That's suspicious. If it's, if it's a Jeep, it ain't suspicious. But it's suspicious. Connor said, I can't wait to duck Jeeps. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Jeep, the duck had like a, it had like a tag on it. Like, I feel like they made it for Jeeps. Mm -hmm. You seen the tag? It's like a professional tag. Mm -hmm. And you're supposed to like take a picture on Facebook. Like, there's like a Jeep. Did you ever take a picture? No, because I was so wild up and you sweaty. You need to take a picture of it. Because you might, it might be somebody popping that sent you that. Cause that's a that's a duck. You know what? There's another girl at the salon who has a Jeep, and like my second week at the salon, she was like, "Is that you that has the Jeep?" And I was like, "Yeah, that's me." And she was like, "Oh my god, I love your Jeep. Her Jeep is orange too, but a different shade." Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Oh, thank you." And she's like, "Do you love your Jeep?" And like we started talking about it, so I'm thinking this may be her. Mm -hmm. I was gonna ask her, but I was so shook up, y'all, because I thought it was my time. I was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm so, getting, I'm you gonna know, get." You know, they put a duck on there, and it was like, "We finna get you." Yes, I thought it. I was going to touch it and it was going to like Knock prick me with like a needle of some type of something or like have some type of chemical on it. Mm -hmm. I was hella scared, right? Hold on, pause. 
It's 206 people in here. Sorry to break the time, but it's only 98 likes. So if you guys can take a chance, a second to go like this <laughs> live, um, and then come back in here and we can continue this. We are gonna uh, probably cut it short, uh, a little shorter today. Our last couple of videos have been long. But uh, just yeah, like, done. yeah, we're pretty much done. We're going to uh, just like this live, like this live. Come on, at least give us 150 before we get out of here. It's two, 210 of y'all in here, so we appreciate everybody. We love you guys. Thank you. Uh, um, and yes, my favorite color is orange, llama, which is why I have an orange Jeep. This is my orange phone case that Dre stole, mm -hmm. so yeah, sure did. Yeah, so yeah, actually, we're gonna go, guys, because I do have to go to the salon. Um, I am going to be, should I go live on Dope Ass Family or what? I'm about to do Smedium Knotless on um, one of my friends. We like do each other's hair, so um, I'm getting ready to go to the salon and do that. Um, maybe I'll go live. I just hate when we can't listen to no music or vibe. Yeah, that is a bonus. I might record a tutorial. Why don't you record for a little bit and then go live and then. Maybe I can do your hair on live. Today? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Okay, I'll go live tomorrow. I'll be live. I'll be live on TikTok then. Add up as Panna, um, just because them Smedium knowledge is gonna take me a little minute. Yeah. She's gonna break down, but but yeah. Um, Why Snatcher? I'll hit you up so you can do me my hair. I'm gonna see if she can cut my weave out for me today, and I'll let you do my hair. Don't be doing me like you do your mannequins, <laughs> cause they be they be leaped over, neck broke. <laughs> me down like this. He be stabbing them in the head with the comb. <laughs> I'll be dying laughing in the comments. It'd be so funny. Um, you so yeah, I'm gonna link up with uh, Why Snatcher. Remember that video where you was talking about you was doing something on the mannequin and then you was like, and then you oh, and I hit like, it. Shit, still. <laughs> yes, because the mannequin had me moving all over the place. So yeah, um, thank you guys so much for rocking with us. Like I said, if there's any other thing that you guys can think of that you didn't tell us that you may think we need, you guys can always leave it in the comment section for us. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this video was more realistic because I feel like when you watch the videos on YouTube, they be having a suitcase, y'all. I watch multiple and I'm like, dang, I need all that. So I'm really mm -hmm. happy that people have been really realistic with me about what to expect. And I'm thankful that yeah. you guys are giving us advice about what we should put in there because I didn't even think about like... The extension cord or, or some of the other stuff you guys are I've seen the about. extension cord, but I just forgot. They said an extension cord, camera charger, and phone chargers. Mm -hmm. Get the extended ones. So maybe we need to bring the long charger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. We'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm going to do my husband's hair, but it'll be on my other channel, Dope Ass mm -hmm. Um, But either way, we have really great content coming for you guys. We're going to be vlogging and doing all type of stuff. And... Hopefully our son is here before Friday. Mm -hmm. That would be the best thing for me in my life. <sighs> yeah. Anything else you want to say? Thank you guys. Love you guys. Have a blessed day and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Okay. Deuces. Goodbye, deuces. Like the lie. Yes, sir. <laughs> you just like making random noises.